All right, so now we're gonna make the monsters a little bit smarter. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make it to where the monsters are gonna spawn every X seconds. So we're gonna create a new event. So down here we say add event. And we say, we go into the system and we use the timer. So here it says every X seconds, where X is the value of whatever number we put in it. So if we want it every one second, every two, whatever that is, we're just gonna set this to three. So this is saying that every three seconds, something is gonna happen. Well, what do we want to happen once that condition is met? Well, we want the system to create another object. And in this instance, we want the monster object. We're making more monsters, we're making the game harder and smarter, okay? Now, when we talk about the X, Y coordinate in this, um, we want to pick a value here. So you could you could do something like, you know, pick the player X value and then, you know, add 400 pixels. You could do something like that. Um, in this instance, what we're gonna do is for, for the X value, we're just gonna put 1500. And in the Y value, we're gonna have a random value. We're gonna say random anywhere between uh, one pixel and uh, 1024, all right? So now that we have that, let's go ahead and play the game and see what it looks like. So we have the monsters. Looks like they're spawning. Now, you're not going to be able to see right now. Um, we'd have to destroy all the monsters and then, you know, find more. Um, but we see there's one that spawned from the right. A couple that spawned from the right are coming back in. All right. So now that we have more monsters, let's actually make it to where we can't escape them so easy. It's it make it a little bit more difficult. So here what we're going to do is I'm going to set a rule that every time there's a monster within so uh, that's so close to us, it's going to turn and start to chase us, right? So we're going to go back to system and we're going to compare two values. All right? Here we want to look at one value which is the distance. Now, the distance as you can see uh, it gives you that you need four points here because if you're comparing the distance, you need uh, the x and y value from one object and the x and y value from the second object here. So what, what is it going to be? Well, it's going to be our player x and our player y and our monster x and our monster why? So now that we have all the four values there, we have the second value, or, or what, what are we comparing, right? So we want to know if it is less than, let's set a value like 400 pixels. All right, so the game is going to look and it's going to say, hey, is the distance between these two objects less than 400 pixels? If so, what do we want to happen? Well, we want the monster here to... Um, set angle toward a position that's going to be the player X and the player Y. All right, we can add some other variables. We'll do that in a minute. So let's look and see if this works. Now they should start to turn and follow me. You can see that they are they get close enough and they follow me. Now if I get away from them, they're not following me anymore. But if I get close to them, they pick me up and, okay. All right, so the last event, just for fun, uh, because what you could do is, is you could kite the entire monster pack um, all in one big cluster and just shoot them and it's not that big of a deal. Um, so one thing I want to do here, I'm going to add an action and I'm going to say um, we're going to take the monster and if that's the case we're going to set the speed. Okay. And we're going to give them a, a quicker speed. If, if they catch you and they catch up to you, right, we're going to change their speed to let's say 120. So that's up from 80. All right, and you can play around with the variables here. So I'm going to play, I'm going to launch the game. And once they get close to you, they start to pick up speed. All right. All 
All right, so we're going to add another event. So we're going to say in the system, if the value is between, if so, if the value is between uh, 15 and 100, let's say. Now, what is the what is it we're looking at? Well, that's the monster count, right? So if the monster dot count is between 15 or 100, then we want something to happen. What do we want to happen? Well, if you're just kiting around monsters, we want you to get what's coming to you. So we're going to set the speed of the monster. What are we going to do? We're going to set speed to something fast. Let's say let's say 300. All right. Now let's run that and let's see what happens. So I'm going to start kind of kiting around the monsters until we've had enough time and there they go all right so if we have a counter up at the top where you can keep um, keep the monster count low that just adds another wrinkle another layer to the game